Hi, happy Sunday. Hope you're having a great day so far. Let's go ahead and get to our weekly star seed reading. September 25th through October 1st. This will be the reading for star seeds and light workers. We'll be doing the heaven heart, earth heart, outcome and action again. Spread. Six cards. No, I do not take jumpers. Don't normally. All right. Let's go ahead and get try reading for the week. As I said before, there will only be upright meetings, no reversals at this time. The undertone is rock bottom, surrender to the alchemy of life, cracked open. Well, it's true. It is. Sometimes it can seem like we're at the rock bottom and that we just need to surrender when as a star seed or light worker, we don't know which way to go forward. We know what we want to do, but we don't see our path forward. And sometimes it's as if we hit rock bottom, but all we really need to do is just surrender the outcome to the divine as always. But we as star seeds and light workers know that. So let's go ahead and get to our reading. Weight of the world, boundaries, let it go. It's not yours to carry. And that goes true with the whole meaning of it, right? Um, the undertone of the reading of cracked open rock bottom surrender to the alchemy of life. It's not ours to carry. We need to surrender it. Whatever we think we're supposed to be doing and we're feeling like we're, we're not able to or the burden is just too heavy, it's probably not ours to carry. Let it go. You know, just give it to the divine and ask the divine to guide you. All right, now let's go back to our heart here. That was heaven. Coping mechanisms, density, addiction, lock God in and loosen your grip. And that's what it's talking. So when you're feeling the heaviness, that weight of the world, where you're thinking you're here to do something and you really can't, let God into your heart. Let the divine in. Let them show you where you need to go. Let them show them the guidance and the next step to take. It's definitely not yours to carry. It belongs to the divine. And the divine are the ones that are going to show us the path forward. All right. And then from earth. Um, you'll survive this. New solutions and new beginnings. Yes. From mother earth. From the earth. Yes. We are going to survive this. We are. We know that. Jump in. That's the action, huh? All right, that's what our heart's telling us to do. Jump in. Say yes to change. Well, amen to that. Andromedan energy adventure. Say yes to change. Well, I agree. Let's jump right in and say yes to change. But let's see what the outcome is, huh? Devotion. Potency. Making your life a living prayer. Well, that sounds perfect. I think that outcome is fantastic. To become a living prayer, true devotion to the divine. I think that's wonderful. And with what inspired action are we going to do this with? Birthing creations, expression, the tapestry of life, the seven star sisters. Well, that does mean we are going to tap in into the tapestry of life, the seven sisters, the crystalline grid, if you will. We'll go ahead and we'll read this one for today. Let's see if I can find my book here. The seven star sisters for the outcome. Mm the seven star sisters there are new creations that want to be born beauty that's yearning to be woven new consciousness that's longing to be breathed into life if you draw this card you're being called to surrender to these creations 
to usher in a new era of consciousness and do your bit in weaving the web of life. This is the card of the artist and the midwife. You're being called to ponder questions, what wants to be birthed through you, what new creations are whispering in your ear, what beauty are you being called to make? Creatively and, in, and intuition come from the same sacred place. They occur when we find ourselves flowing with the rest of life. Earth is renowned as a planet of manifestation and creativity, and yet so many of us have forgotten how to create. Somewhere along the way, we have stopped seeing ourselves as artists, as creatives, as poets. Yet to be human is to be creative. Creativity is part of our true nature. Perhaps you're being called to surrender to a creative project, such as a new business or a new book. Or perhaps you're being called to weave beauty in your home or in a way that you cook. Regardless of the end result, you're being called to express yourself through your creativity, to surrender to the creative projects that both scare and excite you, to find a way to weave beauty back into everyday life. For where there is creativity, spirit and soul are present. And the world needs those qualities more now than ever before. What new creations are you being called to birth? And that's a good question, right? And I think there's a lot of new ways for us to express ourselves and to raise the vibration of the planet. And to really seek that divine light in all beings and help to raise this vibration as we admit the love from our solar plexus and heart region. And just remember to keep clearing our throat chakra as we express our truths. And when things start to feel out of alignment, bring it back to your heart, back to your heart center and focus on the here and now. And look at what you can do in this life today to bring love and light to the universe and into your surroundings so that we may continue to elevate and lift the vibration of the entire planet. I wish you the best of weeks. I truly do. Reach out if there's anything that you'd like answered. I'll, I will ask the cards. We'll get some answers to the best of our abilities. All right, bright blessings to you always. I wish you the best in life. Namaste. Reach out with any questions or comments.